What's up, everybody? If you ever wanted to host your very own Arma Reforger server, I'm going to quickly show you how to set one up with Bisect Hosting. Whether you just want a private server for you and your buddies or a public one for the community, we're going to cover everything you need to know to select your server and get your missions and mods running the way that you want. With Bisect Hosting, you can host a bunch of different games, including Minecraft, Rust, and DayZ. But today we're just going to focus on Arma Reforger. If you click on my Bisect Hosting affiliate link in the description, it'll bring you to this page. From here, select Crate Server. Search Arma Reforger. Select the amount of players you expect to be on your server. Since we host events, I'm going to max that out. Then you can select the location you want your server to be hosted. Because I have a lot of players on the east and west coast of North America, I'm going to select Dallas. This will give you the recommended package for you. I recommend going a little bit higher just to account for more players or if you're running a lot of mods that might put some more stress on the server. So it's recommending 18 gigabytes. I'm going to bump it up to, say, 24. Then I'll bring it, bring you to your payment options. Go ahead and do all that. This part might take a few minutes. All it is doing is pre-installing the files required to host the server. Once your server finishes installing, it's automatically going to boot up. But to make any changes to the configuration, we're going to go ahead and stop the server. Now that our server is installed and is turned off, we can get into the configuration. For the purpose of this video, everything is going to be under the startup tab and in the server config file. Getting into the startup tab, we can go ahead and add a name for our server. If you want to make it a private server, you can add a password right here. You can set your max players, enable crossplay. This scenario ID is going to be the mission that your server loads when it turns on. And your admin password, this is the password that allows players in game to log in to get admin and or game master rights. Installing mods on your server is very easy. There are a few ways that you can do it, but I'm going to show you the way I normally do it. Go to the Arma Reforger Workshop, which I'll link in the description. Search the mod that you want to add. Once you find it, go to its page. You'll need the mod ID. You can see I've already added it in here. And if it is a map that has a scenario built into it, you can go to Scenarios and see the different scenarios that you can run on your server. I want to run the game master mode, so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it right here for scenario ID. Just to be safe, I want to make sure that that reflects in my startup tab as well. Now, the next time that we boot the server, it's going to automatically download that mod from the workshop. And it'll automatically start with the Worthy Islands Game Master mod. If you want to run a vanilla scenario on your server, I'll link in the description to a list of all the vanilla scenarios. For these, it'd be the same thing. Copy the ID and paste it in your config. If you want to get deeper into the parameters, you can. But now that we have our name, password, mod, and scenario that we want, we can go to the console and select start. Once it starts, it's going to download that mod. And now we see that our server is online. We can hop into the server browser, search for our server. Remember, we made it a private server, so we can put in the password here. So our server has booted. 
with the Worthy Islands Game Master mod. And if we want to log in, we just type pound login, then whatever password we set on our server config. And you can go into Game Master, our server is running. There is more that you can do in the parameters on your server, but for the purpose of this video, we have covered everything you need to know to get your server set up, get your password, your name, add any mods or scenarios that you want. If you have any additional questions, feel free to add those in the comments. And yeah, take it easy, guys.